Hi everybody, I'm going to do a quick review and swatches video on the Naked um, Urban Decay Naked on the Run palette which is this palette. Some of you might be thinking of getting this or some of you might have got it for Christmas but if you're thinking of getting it then I will tell you my thoughts on it. Um, I have actually used it today and this is what I've used. Uh, I will link the look underneath that I've just done with this. I really really like it, I'd give it a massive thumbs up, although there are a few things that are like hmm, so I would probably give this palette I would say 8 out of 10, uh, usually I would give all Urban Decay palettes like 10 out of 10 because they're amazing, but I would give this one 8 out of 10 I think, and I will tell you why. Um, it gives you the colours on the back of the box here. Um, so the colours um, are not in any of the other Urban Decay palettes and not singular, I don't think, I think they're exclusive to this palette, um, don't quote me on that but I think they are. And the colours are Dive, Fix, Resist, Dare and Stun and they're all the colours of the eyeshadows. And then we have Bronzer and then we have Blush and then we have one called 50-50 and it's probably called 50-50 I think because it can be used as an eyeshadow so a highlighter eyeshadow or a highlighter on your cheeks which I've used it on both I don't know if you can see I've got some highlighter on my cheeks I've done it on the inner corners and on my brow bone and then you get the perversion mascara there um, which I think is a miniature size um, and then full size naked lip gloss, yeah you get a full size naked lip gloss uh, which I'm wearing now and I think it's gorgeous and you get a miniature um, eyeliner and that's the colour Stag 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Stag which is a brown and I really like it, the casing is just amazing because um, everything's rose gold at the moment, everyone's been getting into rose gold last year and maybe the year before but it's like everyone's been into rose gold so they've gone for this sort of rose gold look again on the palette which I really like and I really do like the palette, it's really nice and sturdy again for Urban Decay I love their packaging, I can't say anything bad about their packaging although it has got the names of the eyeshadows on the back which I don't like because if I'm telling you guys what I'm wearing I had to look at the box before, the back of the box, to tell you what colours I was using. I can't suddenly go and turn this over while I'm using it to tell you what the names of the colours are. So that's one thing that I don't like about it, that it hasn't got the colours on the inside. That's the inside of the palette and it hasn't got the names of the colours on the eyeshadows. I like that it's got a massive mirror on it. Urban Decay always do brilliant massive mirrors. Um, it just falls down and it does it stay open? Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it pretty much stays open without falling down, so that's that's good. I absolutely love the choice of colours that they've picked for the eyeshadows, and these are them. I'm not going to re read them well. I might as well read them out again. Right, I'll tell you what they are. This one is Dive, this one is Fix, the next one, the third one is Resist, the next one is Dare and the next one is Stun. So I'll see if I can do them closer up. They are the colours, these are going to look very similar in my camera because uh, the lighting obviously it's night time and I've only got two bulbs shining at me but I love that they've chose two um, matte colours, they've chose a great in the crease matte colour which I've used and that's the second colour in which is called Fix and that's this colour and then I love that they've choos chosen a darker matte colour so that's that one and that is called There so there's two matte colours, one's a lighter one and one's a darker one, both brown which is lovely this first colour is like a sort of rosy gold colour um, sort of a pink champagne if you like, um, sort of that colour 
and these two colours here are shimmery colours this one is like a lightish brown shimmery colour this one's more of a bronzy type shimmery brown don't know if you can see that but yeah I really love the choices uh, the only one I'm not wearing on my eyes at the moment is the first rose gold kind of colour but I'm wearing all the other four colours on my eyes and they are my eyes uh, so I really like that um, the other things that I like and I don't like about it the blusher I absolutely love is a really nice pink colour so that's that, you probably can't see it very well but it is a gorgeous pink and it does give off a lot of pigment to be honest with you. It's really really pretty and it's just like a flushed lovely pink rose colour. Um, I absolutely hate the contour colour, I really don't like it at all so I will say that I, I don't like it. So if you're thinking of buying this, thinking I'm going to use that to use to contour, it's okay and I have used it to contour and you probably can't tell. I can't tell as much on my face but if you're really, really pale and I did ask someone this question and there's a lot of blogs on this um, Urban Decay palette but people do get sent the Urban Decay palettes for review. Um, okay people have different opinions but I was told for pale skin that it was brilliant bronzer you know it wasn't orangey although it is orangey it's very very orange I think it's here and to me I don't know if you can see that but I'll try swatching it again a bit harder for you if I can you can use it to contour it says bronzer on the thing you can use it to contour, don't get me wrong, I just think it's too orange for me. So that that's one thing I'm not going to lie about, it's, you know, I didn't get sent this by Urban Decay and even if I did I would tell you the truth that I, I won't, wouldn't really wear this as, as bronzer, as contour. Um, I do like the highlighter, that's quite nice and as I say you can use this as an eyeshadow or a highlight. So you can hardly see that there shimmering, just on my hand you can hardly see that so there's no point swatching that but I am wearing it and it's nice. I absolutely love the eyeliner, the eyeliner's called Stag I think it was called, yeah Stag and it's a brown, it's not a black so I really like that it's a brown because it's not as intense, I'm just looking off into the mirror actually, it's not as intense as black because black can be sometimes like wow bam too in your face um, but I really like it because it's a brown so it's more neutral and subtle. Um, the next thing I think is okay is the Perversion um, Mascara that's why I'm giving it sort of 8 out of 10 because I'm not too fussed on the mascara and I don't like the orangey contour bronzer colour. Uh, the mascara is nice and I would take it away in the palette with me obviously to use. It's a really nice size wand on it, it's not too small and it's not too big. Not sure why I'm smelling it, they all smell the same. Um, but it's a really nice size, so I can't complain about the size. But it doesn't really do sort of much for my lashes. And I did actually curl my lashes this time beforehand, just to make sure to see what it was actually like. And it's okay. It, it It's okay. It's not rubbish by any means. I would say it's more good. Than rubbish. I haven't worn it obviously all day but I'm on about the lift and the curl it gives you and any volume it gives you. Um, just by looking in the mirror on my lashes and my lashes are quite short. It, 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 it's okay. Um, I wouldn't rave about it. It's not the best mascara but it's certainly not the worst mascara. I do like it. I think it's okay and I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10 out you know just on the mascara itself I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 so I, I like it more than I don't like it if you know what I mean and then my lashes hope you can see that 
so that's what you get and the um i don't usually wear it but it's a lip gloss and it's called sesso i think the name of it is i don't really like that you can't get your thick fingers in to get the things out properly it's kind of hard and you have to tip it up so i'm just going to tip it up again to get the lip gloss out i'm wearing the lip gloss now i love the color of the lip gloss it's gorgeous it's called naked urban decay lip gloss comes with a doe foot applicator like that it smells minty it tastes minty and it kind of looks like it plumps my lips a little bit maybe that's because i'm not used to wearing um lip gloss you will hardly ever see me with lip gloss it's probably quite strange for you seeing me with a lip gloss because it is for me because i don't wear it that often even though i've got quite a few lip glosses that when you will see when i do my makeup collection i always sort of forget to wear them to put a little bit on again i will try and swatch it on my hand just to see there we go that's it it just gives a nice color it does give a naked type color a little bit of berry but a sort of naked type color i really do like it because it's my type of naked if you like my type of neutral lip color it's not too neutral it's really nice so i really like it so that is my review Oh, that's a swatch of the Stag eyeliner to show you that it was brown. That's the orangey bronzer, which I wasn't too fussed on. That is the blusher, which I love. They are the eyeshadows, which I absolutely love. I can never complain about Urban Decay eyeshadows. They're brilliant. And that is the lip gloss. And I do love everything, to be fair. And I'd give it 8 out of 10, I think. And yeah, I like it. I think it's a nice look. So that is my review. If you've got any questions, I think it was about £36, I think. £37. Hmm, I don't know. I think it was about a similar price to the Naked palettes. I could be wrong. But I really do like it after using it. I'm just not sure on the contour colour. If you've got any questions, please ask down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share this video on Google Plus or Twitter. I would love that. And please remember to check out my links down below because I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and my blog too. And if you're thinking about going out and buying it, then I do give it a thumbs up. But you know the sort of pros and cons that are sort of okay and yay about it. So thanks for watching guys and I will speak to you soon. Speak to you soon. Bye.